Capricorn, this is your week ahead tarot card reading by Born Without Boundaries Tarot. It's a message for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign, and it comes to you at precisely the right time that you call it into you. Capricorn, this is where we begin. Know your worth. something made you doubt it this is something that we're going to get into and discover as we do we dive deeper into this energy knowing your worth talks about you have a right to be you unabashedly not ashamed to be anything but yourself and and ultimately that's the only thing you need to do you don't have to make sense to anybody else what you have to do is let the people go who don't want to know you or don't care to know you in your authenticity because it's more important to smell the flowers if you're a skunk than to accept a stink that everybody else puts on you and that's what we learn from this card now let's get deeper into the message Capricorn, this is a message for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. It's an energy reading, so please take it where and how it resonates in your life. This is your message. It comes to you when you call it into you, like I said. But there's a new message every single week. So if you love these messages, please be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell and select all notifications so that you will always know when I go live, when I upload your favorite content, and Anything I post in the community feed, you'll get the notifications. Capricorn, if you're looking for a deeper, more personal reading, I do do those. I offer many different services. I'm an astrologer as well. So please check out my website, www.bornwithoutboundariestarot.com. And then you can book and schedule whatever works for you right over there. You'll have your reading within 24 hours. So it's a pretty quick turnaround for me. Um... Let's go. Let's cleanse the energy first, though. Let's see what else has to come out. Well, oh, you're holding something inside. You're holding something inside and it has to do with how you feel about whether or not your value. And you can, you can keep it together a long time externally because you are, you are together. That's part of what Capricorns are, always together. The problem is you're not you just know how to keep up that appearance and it exhausts you, but simultaneously you won't own up to that either. So why is the universe putting this out in front of you? It wants you to stop. There's, there's something here like you're struggling too hard for something that isn't, is, is not worth it or not worth you. Okay. Let's maybe say that again. It's not worthy of you. So let's get into it. We have a uh, time to let go, but you're not. You're holding on to something that's eating away at your heart. And all that's doing, whether it's in the form of anger or depression or low self-esteem or insecurity, all that's doing is hurting you. It sure as heck isn't hurting anybody else. You're hurting. There's something that is bothering you and front and center. We know it has something to do with this, not feeling like you'd ever truly be accepted for who you really are, what you really care about and what really matters to you. So you know what? Front and center, baby. It's, it's being bought up to you because you need to bring it front and center. Something about this is not healthy. And then we have time for a beginner mind. Bam. This is about a new mindset. You know, you kind of have that prickliness from the past, maybe a little bit of defensiveness from the past. But ultimately, 
This is asking you to innovate. Be awkward. Be different. Perceive things in a in a different way, from a different light. Just go ahead and perceive it in a different way. Um, a new mindset. A new mindset about what, though? We have to get that answer. But let's look in the future and say, sing your own song. Okay. See, this is telling me that you're going to progress this week. And then there's just this energy of, you know what? I'm stripping down this mentality. I'm stripping down this mindset. I'm stripping it down. I'm stripping it down because I know it's not working for me. I just want to be fucking free from it. I hear you. And then we have think on your feet. So look for surprises here. And look to surprise other people. This is Sagittarian energy, think on your feet. So it's it's like you are you are primed to be open. You are primed to re be receptive to new things. You want to grow. You want to expand. And you want to expand in ways that are going to surprise other people. That don't stuff you into a box. Because I feel like you're feeling boxed in and that's not healthy for you. And ultimately, you're willing now to defend yourself and stick up for yourself. Or you should be or have to be prepared to be very necessary to defend your right to be your awkward, unique little self. So wait, what are we holding on to? What do we got to let go of, God? There's a relationship here that's exacerbating an issue in your life. It is an intimate partnership. I don't know if it's boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, ex. I don't I don't know. But I there it is. Two of cups comes out. There's something that you're holding on to about this relationship. You're not letting go. And ultimately, you're starting to, you're, you're starting to get prickly about it. Starting to kind of like bulk up, you know, get ready to throw those darts. And I think you should. I, I'm, I'm, I'm on your side here. Like, like I'm not getting the feeling like I have to tell you get your shit together because you're fucking up here. No, I feel like I have to tell you, tell them get their shit together because they're fucking up here. You're holding something in probably because you love somebody, you care about somebody. I don't know if this is a romantic relationship. It could be somebody else that you really love and really care about. But ultimately, there's just this energy of I love them, I care about them, but I'm holding too much in for their sake or for the sake of the relationship. Sounded familiar to you? Okay, hold on. I'm going to do a six card spread, one for each day of the week. But first, we're going to choose our resolution cards, which is the seventh day of the week. I'm going to put it over here and we're going to wait. Let's see. Resolution for this week. For whenever you start the week. I don't care if it starts on a Monday or a Friday. It doesn't matter. But it's the first day of you hearing this message. And this is the resolution. Damn it. Resolution. Resolution. Okay. Oh, okay. I love that. Okay. Let's go day one. Capricorn. Let's go day one. Ah, ha, yeah. We start out here taking on too many responsibilities. Martyrdom. You know why we do martyrdom? Because we don't feel worthy. We don't feel worthy if we were just sitting there sniffing the flowers or we would be okay. Everything would be okay. No, we feel like, no, we can't. We've got to bulk this up. We've got to do too much. We've got to take on too many responsibilities. If I take on everybody else's job and my own, then people will love me. Then I'll be worthy. I'll be worthy if, if I feel they can't live without me because I do so much work or because I do so much. This right here is bullshit. It's too much. And it's burdensome. And ultimately, I think the problem is that you're seeing according to the base cards, is that doing all of this is not actually changing things. It's not actually moving the needle in the direction you want it to go. It's just telling them, oh, this is a beast of burden. Let me pile more stuff on them. And that's a problem. Hmm. So we have the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands is here. You need something new. 
It's also passion. So you're carrying all these burdens. You're not happy. You're not pleased. And then all of a sudden, something new comes up this week. In the beginning of the weeks, a new passion. Something that shows you that there is something new out there. That there's something different. You got a new option now. <gasps> but you got your hands full. You got a new option. You're interested in it, but you got your hands full. With a, oh, new option, hands full, new option. Oh, you see how sometimes God doesn't have to beat you down over the head to make you drop the burden? Instead, what God's going to offer to you this week is something that you really want. That you're not going to be able to grab unless you put that other shit down. Sometimes we can just be killed with kindness, right? And like, like sucked out of our our hurt, self-hurting ways, basically, by being given an opportunity that is too good to resist and too great to miss. There's more than one way to skin a cat. And this way, the, this way the universe is skinning you. Gonna make you cut that crap by giving you an opportunity that is honestly so awesome. Why would you? You are going to take it. I guarantee it. Oh, bitch. If this wasn't enough, bada bing, you also have the Ace of Cups, which is love. You know what? You know what it's saying? Once you find your chutzpah again, once you find yourself again, people are going to start respecting you and appreciating you. It's because you become this kind of sorry sap beast of burden that people have lost respect for you. You got to find your mojo again. You got to find your energy. You got to find your beauty. You got to define your you got to you got to find your divinity. That's what you've got to find. And baby, it's right here for you. First you get passion, then you get love. There can be some real like phallic and womb energy between these wands and these cups. I mean, that is real masculine feminine energy. Just to let you know, lots of burdens. You got to start fresh and just allow yourself to be loved. Easier said than done. Not this week. It's going to be very easily done because the enticement is there. And then we have the uh, Knight of Swords. So this is saying something, speaking something, hearing something, letting somebody know something, something. So you'll be ready toward toward uh, midweek, a little later, to actually execute and to go at it. Go after. You are going to take this option. You are going to speak or say or react. You are going to do that. And then we have Scorpio. You know what that means in, in this lineup? It means you're going to be ready by the end of this week to let something die. This is scorpionic energy. This is where you started out, just stuck with the toxins inside of you. This is scorpionic energy upright saying, no more outside, no, let it die. You're gonna be willing to let something go. You're gonna be willing to finish something, let something die. You will be willing and completely capable of it. And we have the five of pentacles and the eight and the eight of wands for um, day six. So there's something here that you were deprived of. But what the eight of wands coming out with it means is that and it coming out after it is saying that you are going to find a way out. Like somebody just opens up a vacuum and sucks you out of I don't think it's necessarily for you, finan it could be financial, right? But if for you, it's more you've deprived yourself so much. You've, you've, you've felt so downtrodden. You've emptied yourself. And that's why we could see this in this card. You've emptied yourself. You've burdened yourself. And now all of a sudden, it's almost like, I'm done with that shit. I'm moving on. And you really are moving on. Let me just clarify really quick the five of pentacles. But I think this is like, it's almost like you're awakening to, I got to get out of this slump. I got to get out of this. Kind of, I'm kind of done with this. I don't want to be a part of this. You don't. 
You don't. And we all get in these funks. You do. Hold on. Show the world the real you. We have take time to breathe out. First, we had show the real world the real you, and it's landing right on top of this stuff. So I don't know why you got into this funk. I don't think I need to know. I, I don't think you even need to know. I think you need to know that it's time to get the fuck out of it. And that is exactly what you will be doing, right? You're gonna, you're it's like you're turning back on Capricorn. Like all of a sudden you're turning back on. Your confidence is turning back on. Your certainty is turning back on. Everything about you is turning back on. And you about to wake up and shake the mountain when you do. And then we have take time to breathe out, disseminating moon. This is relaxation. This is the week that you will finally be able to release all this tension, all this stress, ability to sort of just decompress and not hold on to these burdens anymore. Let's get to the resolution cards, right? Let's see what they have. First, I have this. I hate this fucking thing. I do. I, I don't like the hangman. It irritates me like you would not believe. But, but this is also, this is also growth. This is also opening up. This is also, um, yeah, this is also growth and opening up. And then we have temperance, which is expansion. And it's almost like you had to sit still or let yourself rest in order to expand, see something from a different perspective. That's what the hangman does. He turns himself upside down to see something from a different perspective. Then we have Sagittarian energy, which could be finding spiritual growth, you know, finding, finding, you know, spiritual, religious, philosophical, really growth right to sort of be able to finally understand something that is different than you and then there's strength and then you make your move new ideas letting the new ideas in entertaining the new ideas searching them researching them going online looking them up all those things all those things let's see how this executes we got more cards for you guys How does all of this play out? Capricorn. Capricorn. Hmm. Okay. Guys, you're going to be having some fun this week. I don't know. Come back to the edge, which is you're ready. Start to take risks again. You're at a point in your life where you don't really have a chance. You don't have a choice. It's almost like God's not giving you an option. This is like a don't come back. Don't turn back. You know, this is, this is not the time to play anything safe. And then we have between worlds. Got to come back into full color. It's almost like when Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz steps out of her little black and white world, right? you got to let the let everything crumble, let the house land where it may to step into munchkin land. This is the energy of arriving in a world filled with spaces and colors because you decided to take a risk. And that risk comes with a statement, a new idea or allowing a new idea in and it's going to refresh you and it's going to bring you to life again. And that's what's going to make you start to have courage or find your courage or get your courage back let's get an angel message we have busy times and multitasking busy times and multitasking take charge of your schedule during this busy time and honestly assess your underlying reasons for being busy ah God is in your face about this, calling you out. Why are you busy? Are you avoiding something? Or are you trying to impress people? Both are shit. You got to stop it. And then we have spiritual protection. God's looking out for you. You are being watched over and protected physically, emotionally, and energetically. God wants you to wake up. 
And he wants you to wake up in peace and in health. And that's the goal this week, to get you back. Let's go to the extended. I hope I don't lose you here. The link is down below, pinned to the top of the comment section. I also put it right in the top of the description box. Or you can always go to my website and find the new extended video, latest Capricorn video, or go to Vimeo and find the latest um, Born Without Boundaries Capricorn Vimeo video. Both options are yours. I love you guys and I'll see you there.